two verses after that where it says, parents do not provoke your children to anger. <laughs> Only I would read that though. Right? Parents, parents just see that and they're like, the Bible says that? Oh, Lord Jesus, please take this out of the Bible. <laughs> Put the Bible back on the shelf. We gotta take it back to the store. It's a misprint. Oh, we can't do this. Oh, what if my kids read this? That's not good. I mean, you know. Now, of course, people always go to their family for advice, you know, even about fine arts. Anyone here go to your parents about what category you're going to do? No? Okay, just me. Okay. Well, sadly, I went to my brother. He's older than me, and of course, here's what he told me to do. You just got to be confident, man. You gotta go up there, you gotta know what you're gonna do, and it'll be good. So I had to look him straight in the eye and say, Josh, can we stop talking about girls for two seconds? <laughs> I'm not ready for a relationship, man. So yeah, I couldn't use him. <laughs> yeah. And then of course, the next thing that he told me, is pick up lines. Oh, yes. <coughs> Be like, hey, baby. Are you a fisher of men? Because you just reeled me in. <laughs> 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 then, whenever they call the cops, you just bring a Starbucks. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that works every single time. That's, I mean, Starbucks, just the best. You know, as long as you don't dump it on them. You know. <laughs> then you just get in the lawsuit. It's happened 20 times now. <laughs> well, thank you all. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> 